the same dream again. I've dreamed that I've decoded the Zodiac Cipher. My journal. I'll never leave home without it. solve it. It seems like the message is incomplete. Hi, Robert. It's Donald. Why aren't you picking up? Turn on the TV and call me. Hi, Robert. It's Patrick. I'm coming to you. I have a package for you from our editorial office. From the ASF News in San Francisco, this is ASF Breaking News November 21st, 1973. Just a few weeks after sending the next encrypted message by the Zodiac, the mysterious murderer is threatening to attack again. This time, he wants to blow up a bus with children. California is trembling. It's pure madness. <laughs> Using my detection skills, could he be Polish? Hello, boss. Have you seen the news about Zodiac? Or have you overslept again? Sure, I've seen it. I'm still working on the cipher and an article about it. Your knife buddy threatens to blow up a school bus. What's more, he sent us a package addressed to... Well, guess who? You son of a bitch. Guess who? Patrick was at your place, but you didn't answer. You were probably sleeping. Get over that girl. She's left you. That's it. Anyway, Patrick left the package from Zodiac by your door. There's a message written just for you. So move your ass and back to work.
What is he saying to me? I still don't know. There's a certain magic in developing photos, when the image is just beginning to emerge, and I'm trying to guess what it is. I used to believe in that magic once. What is this place? It looks familiar. I bet I must have passed through it, or seen it in a book. This is a once-in-a-lifetime book. Let's look, that hill must be here somewhere. There it is, Mount Diablo. Gotcha. I better take my gun. Everyone in their right mind carries a gun. Monica wanted me to keep it in a safe, locked away. Perhaps there's some sense in that, but a woman's thinking makes a man vulnerable. And what do you get in return? famous anyway and he'll hang perhaps there is some justice in the world but I've never fired a gun should I really take it maybe I will regret this but at least I'll be able to defend myself
I'm on my way to Mount Diablo to confront Zodiac. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. I've never been so afraid and actually terrified my entire life, but it's my moment now. It's my chance to show the world what a great investigative journalist I am. I'll be the first to look such evil right in its eyes. Confront it. Jesus, it's freezing. <sighs> How far is this car? Can't open the door.
this nightmare again. Zodiac and Sherry crying. I can't live like this. Why me? The doctor had predicted fragmented visions of Zodiac's crimes coming to me in my dreams. Tonight I saw the killer following Sherry to the library, having smoked a cigarette before. I have to write this down. Here I can collect all the clues from my dreams. It's exactly as you said, Doctor. I've been dreaming about the clues to the Zodiac murders. Six months of live dreaming therapy couldn't have not worked. You are ready for the ritual. Have you unpacked Cherry's body yet? Yes, it's in the attic. You should collect all clues regarding Cherry's murder. Start the ritual, and then come and see me. After today, you shall start freeing yourself from the Zodiac. The cure is near, Robert. Are you sure, Doctor? All in your hands, Robert. I've had enough of those pills. This goddamn doctor is poisoning me. I don't trust these pills completely. The doctor probably knows what he's doing. I'm gonna take him anyway. He turned the street lamp off. He wanted to be invisible in the shadows. He used the same knife to kill Sherry, and he did it with such brute force, he nearly decapitated her. is full of blood. I can see him leaving the knife in there. It was in the mailbox. Her car broke down. What a smart bastard. He was like a spider setting up a web. Poor thing. She only wanted to return some library books. Mom, I swear she was here. Look, it's her toy, a little horse. I haven't stolen it, I swear. Hey, what's your name? What are you doing here? I better go for my mom. Wait here. Oh, Goose. How could I have let this happen? Maybe if I'd saved you, then everything would have been all right.
Tick-tock, tick-tock. It's like beating my head against the wall. Tick-tock. Who's crazier, him or me? The Zodiac's broken the street lamp. The killings always happen in the darkness. As if he wants to hide away. As if the light intimidates him. victim had lost her shoe while running away. Monica used to wear this very similar shoes. It's like in my darkest dreams. She only wanted to return the books. I can still hear the sound of cards flipping, like a moth's wings beating. Apparently he'd spoken to her in the library and offered to walk her back. Why, that's almost like my first date with Monica. I had a dream about that. There was an oil drip just like the one from Zodiac's car. He parked it near Sherry's. He dragged her into a quiet spot. Did he want to hide her body? He wrote this weird poem in memory of the victim. I hear this crying again. Sherry, I will try to help you. Good evening, Doctor. Welcome. Well, 
I think that after half a year of our meetings, you're ready for your first live dreaming session. One last question though, as per usual. Have you taken your pills? Yes, I took them. And afterwards I had a terrible dream. Sherry screamed and the Zodiac was stabbing her. Why do you think you dream of Zodiac and his murders so vividly, even though it has been over six months since you met at Mount Diablo? I'm one of his victims, and I have dreams with Sherry in them. She was his victim as well. Maybe that's why. Would you like to say something before you traverse the Cherry's murder scene? I think a lot about my childhood and my father. He was a hunter, you know, and I kept his pistol in a safe at my house. I had it there when Zodiac called. That's one memory that keeps me awake. I won't ask you about your father now. Do you regret not killing Zodiac at Mount Diablo? I didn't intend to kill him. I wanted him in jail. Your father wouldn't tiptoe around him like that. I don't know, Doctor. Enough questions for now, Robert. Let's now try to transport you to Riverside. Choose one of the photos, close your eyes, and slowly count down from ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. I recognize this place. It's Riverside. The doctor was right. Live dreaming works. I have a chance to save myself. There might be more tracks like this. The oil stains were left by Zodiac's car. He must have driven this way. Is this the place where Zodiac parked? I'll make a note of that, but I still need more information to determine the exact order of events. I wonder why she left the car unlocked. The victim went to the library. Did Zodiac stalk her? I should look deeper to see what's wrong with the car. He cut the cable with something sharp. The evidence seems to show that he had thrown it away nearby. Now, this should work when I tape the cable back together. Spare fuses, these might help fixing this broken light.
Hopefully, the killer cut off the ignition, but then what? This can show me what the proper fuse is. Hmm, the handle is stuck. The Zodiac had to know which lamp to turn off. I love to hunt for my prey. Like Cherry, slim young girl, my little animal. Find the cipher. It will help you solve the mystery. It's here. I follow her and then start the best part. Do you remember? You, your mother and father hunting together. Nice sunny days but for that constant smell of blood. What did you see? What was I supposed to see? Zodiac and Sherry in the parking lot. Can you tell me more details? Zodiac spoke to me. He mentioned my childhood, my parents, and my friends. What do you think is the most important part? When he spoke of Goose, she seemed so similar to Sherry. I understand. Remember that what you see is a mere dreamy interpretation of what happened. Now I will show you three pictures, and you pick one of them. Take your time choosing. Then, close your eyes and go back to Riverside. The text is not clear. It's engraved. What tool was used to engrave it? Broken glass. Did he escape or enter through a window? The 
doors closed. Now I know how to help her. Zodiac could use it for something. One of these might open the library. So that was Zodiac who engraved this poem. That's how Sherry entered the library, with Zodiac stalking her outside. Should be enough to buy a drink. Zodiac offered her a drink. Where'd he get it? That was the drink Zodiac bought her. Your father also waited for your mother, drunk. He used to give her something to drink first, and then beat her senseless. It was his favorite thing. Almost the same like my favorite thing. Soon you'll see what I've done to Cherry. Remember about the cipher. It's here.
You're back. You seem disturbed. What did you see? Okay, so I was at Riverside College. I found Sherry's blanket. She wasn't cold anymore, and she thanked me. That's your subconscious speaking. What are you willing to do next? I can help Sherry. I know I'm capable of doing that. I understand. But how will you do that? If I complete the ritual correctly, I can stop Zodiac. Or at least interrupt him. Doing that, I can give Sherry comfort. And maybe even save her soul. It's a beautiful intention, Robert. Aren't you afraid that it is only your own imagination? I don't want to go back there. It paralyzes me. I'm scared I won't be able to survive this. Thank you for your trust. Our session today is about to end. Close your eyes, and one last time, transport yourself to Riverside. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Postman who's delivering death. The body must be somewhere here. Oh, that's Sherry's body. I should take a closer look. Poor thing. She lost her shoe in the mud. He's brutally cut her throat. He used the knife I found in the mailbox. She fought until the end and ripped his watch off. I wonder where it is. This is watch. Sherry tore this watch off of Zodiac's wrist. The type of mud that I found on Sherry's shoe. She must have lost the other one nearby. Somewhere nearby, something horrible happened. That 
It must be her shoe. Your father had his moments. The walks, fishing. Like me when I took Cherry for a walk. But then she got afraid. Started to run away. Then I played with her. The knife, the screaming. I was so aroused. The cipher? The cipher is somewhere near. I hope this ritual works. I'll go back to the attic to do what I have to do and then go to sleep. Maybe tomorrow I'll wake up with one trouble less and the dreams about Sherry will finally end. Zodiac is a beast. But maybe, just maybe, I'll finally tame him. <laughs> 